guys, it's Bridget. Welcome back. So today we're gonna do a get ready with me video, doing like a birthday makeup look, I guess. That's what we're gonna call this. And today I'm testing out some stuff from Look Fantastic. This video is not sponsored by them, but I was gifted some stuff, so I wanted to use it on camera and talk about it. So Look Fantastic, if you don't know, is like the biggest European beauty retailer, and they're coming to the US. They're expanding their US stuff. So I wanted to try out some of their stuff, since it is like name brands that I'm familiar with, some products I haven't used before, so I wanted to use some new things today do a get ready with me just talk about some random stuff without any further ado let's get started I haven't done a get ready with me in a little bit so I feel like a little bit like out of whack with it so I'm trying to like get back in the groove of things also I do have a discount code with look fantastic I will leave it linked down below it'll save you 22% and all the information is top of the description box for you also quick shout out to my shop theopencrypt.com I could not wait to tell you guys like I'm wearing my blank butcher earrings today my little cleavers but we just launched these little super cute ghosties look at the ghosty boos that's what i actually call them i call them the ghosty boo because that's like what i think and i think a ghost's always gonna say boo too so i was like these are my little ghosty boo earrings they're super precious and i like had to show you guys but let's get started i have my base face done and my brows but i'm gonna add the blush and i also have a whole bunch of eye products i want to use so let's talk about all the products I have just, you know, first off hand. So this first thing I'm worried about because there's like dust on the box. I'm scared it's broken, but I didn't want to open it ahead of time. This is the Black Magic Awama Beauty Palette, which I've had on their eyeshadow palettes before. And the color schemes for their things are just beautiful. And thankfully it's not broken, but here is the palette. I love it. I wanted to use the reddies in here and like the neutral shade. So I thought it was really cute. And like, look at this shimmer. It's like a steel gray blue kind of shimmer. It's really pretty. But I always think Oma has really beautiful products. So I wanted to try that palette out. I also picked up a different palette. This is the Stila Camouflage Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. I don't think I've ever used Stila Eyeshadow before. So I was intrigued. Oh, this is the thing that's broken. I have glitter all over my hands now. Can we see the glitter on the palette? Okay. Woo. So it's like a camouflage packaging. And the color scheme online looked really cute. But two of the shades came shattered. These two shades came shattered. But the color scheme itself, if I can show you without knocking everything over, is really pretty. So because these are two, oh, this is the color scheme I would love to do today. But since two of the shades are just shattered, I'm covered in glitter now, we're going to use the one with Beauty Palette today. I have to repress these. I will repress these and let you know what I think of the Stila eyeshadow. Um, but let me wipe my hands off. And I already have eyelid primer on. So we're going to get straight into the eyeshadow. I'm not going to do anything super complicated today, but I just wanted to do a couple eye, you know, do something on my eyes and talk about stuff. All right, for today's eye look, I did pick out two brushes. I have the ColourPop E7, which is a really chunky shader brush, and then this Dream Large Blend from Sigma Beauty Bird, because I like the pretty white handles today. I was kind of feeling it, so I just picked two brushes that kind of look like the same handle situation. So my base face is done. Actually, before we do the eye look, let me test out something else. I didn't show you all the rest of the products, so I chose you two eyeshadow palettes. We have this eye foil from Lottie London in the shade Savage. It's a pretty purple lavender color. I figure whatever eye look we do, it'd be a cute contrast underneath my, my lower lash line here. We also have a lip conditioner from Vapor. It's a luxe lip color or lip conditioner, which honestly I need sometimes. I feel like because the weather is changing, my lips need a little extra help. So we have this really nice lip conditioner. It smells good. It smells fruity without like being overwhelming. So I just, I picked this up out there because like I need that in my hand, in my life and it feels good so far. I also have this Elama Squaw Precision Ink in Abyss, which is a cool color. Also, I know it's called Ilmasca, but it's literally spelled Elama Squaw, so don't fight me on it. And here is the eyeliner. It's a beautiful black. Like this is black 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 abyss so that's what i wanted they had some other colorful ones too which look cool i kind of like the green one they have but like classic and it looks super black online and it swatched out pretty good too so i'm happy with that and then lastly i have this software blush from lime crime because i haven't tried so many lime crime things and i feel like it's a brand we all hear about but i don't see people making like hauls of lime crime stuff this is in cyber which look like a cool color online precious little compact oh that's too dark of a blush for me that's kind of a dark blush but we're gonna try to make it work it's like a shimmery on me it's very uh satiny like a it's not like flat matte so i'm gonna try to make this work i think it's gonna be fine as long as we don't do anything harsh on the cheeks like i don't think it's gonna be that pigmented so i think it's gonna be fine 
But yeah, we have two eyeshadow palettes, an eye foil, a lip conditioner, eyeliner, and a blush. So let's do the blush first, honestly. Let's do that before we do the eye look. So I'm going to try this blush. And hopefully it doesn't mess up my face already because I'm not willing to take it off. So I'm just going to tap it a little bit. Tap off any excess. Put it up. I already have highlighter on. There's none. There's width. It's a little deep, but honestly, I think I can make it work. I like that it's not super flat, but it's not my typical shade of a blush. You know, I got put underneath the chin to make it match, but it works out fine. It looks fine. It doesn't look too unnatural on me, which is good. I like that it's not flat, though. There's something about this kind of shimmeriness that I enjoy. So and now back to the eyes. Now that I feel like my my face makeup is complete. I'm going to go into the big fluffy shader brush now. I'm going to go into Foxy, which is this kind of taupey. Well, it's more of a taupey. It's more of a tan than a taupey color. And just put this in the crease. We're going to go kind of towards the red side of things without being like punch of red in the face. Because I do have like orange in my hair already. Also, you guys, I feel like I haven't caught up with you in a little bit, you know. I've really been enjoying you know, the variety of things on my channel lately since it's not just been makeup. I do like, I love doing the Halloween hunting videos. I think they're so fun. I need to find a better way to do them because I feel like I'm driving around shopping for like three, three and a half hours and it comes out to like an eight minute video, you know, because I can't, first of all, I can't have the car on when I'm recording because I just don't have the best camera in the world or I don't have the best software to like fix the the car sound I'm just not good at audio and then I can't record too long in the car with the car off because I live in Florida and it's like a hundred degrees in the car <laughs> you know so I'm trying my best with that I feel like if I had like a camera mount and I knew like how to edit like uh audio better I could film longer videos like I could drive around and talk about what I saw and stuff because usually the stores I go to are like 15, 20, sometimes 30 minutes apart from each other. And it, in the skip of a video, you know, it just looks like no time at all. So I wanted to find a better way to do that. I'm not sure. And I feel like a lot of stores are already moving Halloween stuff out, which is just depressing to me, you know. Next up, I'm going to use the shade Warrior here, which is more of this red tone without being like pff, red in your face. I'm going to add this to the crease on the outer half. But yeah, I want to find a better way to do this. I really enjoy doing those videos, you know, because I'm going to go Halloween shopping anyways. I like taking you along for the ride. And then I also like telling you guys after like what I saw and then thinking about it more, you know. And then also editing the videos is a little bit more for me because, you know, I'm inserting clips on top of what I'm saying and blah, blah, blah. And the car lighting's never great. I got to try to autocorrect that. But I do enjoy it. And then like when I watch the video back to like edit it and stuff, I know I had a good time. So I, I just feel like it's really enjoyable. And then like the lifestyle videos, I have so many things planned, you guys. Like so many things planned. I will be moved already by the time you see this video. I'm filming ahead. I'm trying to keep a filming schedule at least a week ahead so I don't have to like, you know, move all my stuff and then figure out the set like the same day because the set, you know, it, it looks simple and everything, but the lighting situation, especially with like the backlighting, is always complicated and then in the room I'm going to be filming it has a tall ceiling so I really have to worry about audio situations you know like audio echoing and stuff so I needed to go ahead and film ahead so that when I'm setting that up I don't have to worry about like oh my god I don't have any videos this week so I'd rather stress out about getting them all done now rather than you know worrying later and putting out videos that aren't good quality so filming ahead but like I'm so excited for the lifestyle content that I have planned for when I finally am in my new set and everything. I think it's going to be so fun. I'm excited to film things. Like I know like I'm, I'm filming a lot this week to film ahead and stuff. Like I have been for the last two weeks. But it doesn't really feel like too much pressure on me because like I'm enjoying doing my shop stuff like making my own small business 100% by hand feels great and satisfying like anytime I get an order I feel like I accomplished something you know um especially since I spend a lot of my time creating every product and making candles and wax melts and building earrings and stuff so I feel like that's really satisfying and then the videos that I'm filming because it's not just makeup it's a variety of things I feel like I have more fun with 
So it doesn't feel like hard work. I, it is, especially when it comes down to editing everything that I've recorded. Um, but it, it's, it's, it's satisfying stuff these days and I'm really happy with where everything is going. Like I couldn't be more happy with it. You know, like I'm not looking forward to taking all this stuff out of this apartment, <laughs> especially because we have like a weird uh, staircase situation to get downstairs and take all the boxes down and everything. I'm not excited about that. But I'm excited about everything else that's coming up and I'm excited about what I'm doing. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the content too. Um, and my little, my little shoppy thing. I love the ghosty earrings. Those are like my favorite thing. I've been waiting to release them for over a month now. Um, next up for my eyeshadow, I'm going to leave it like this for the crease. I think it looks fine. I'm going to go into the lighting shade, the silver. Let's just see. Because it looks like I can use my finger. <sighs> that's beautiful. Lightning is what it's called. I think I said lighting. It's lightning. I'm just going to tap this all over my lid. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful shimmer beautiful i'm not putting it as heavy on the outer corner just because i do have the art the darker color over there oh it's so good okay but yeah thank you guys for being supportive of my mix of videos you know like my views are definitely not what they used to be when i was like reviewing stuff constantly but then i feel like i was wasting a lot of makeup because i you know i can't review everything and then the views for the reviews aren't as good as like if i talk crap and unfiltered opinions or something you know um but i'm enjoying the content that i'm making now that's a good variety so thank you guys um i'm gonna go into the let's go into the foxy shade again just the tan for lower lash line keep it kind of easy on the eyes i'm just put the tan under lower lash line with this big shader brush kind of diffuse it out but yeah my content's so my content's so diverse lately like i'm still keeping the majority of it makeup but it feels it feels good. It feels good, like, what my, my, my thinks, thinking ahead is doing, you know, like, my thoughts on future content is really good. Also, as, like, a sneak peek, I wasn't really gonna say this yet, since I just made it today, but, like, along with my lifestyle content that's coming up, I also just made a new Instagram, so I have my regular Porcelain Cosmetics Instagram, which is, like, my makeup and stuff. And then I have the at the open crypt for my shop and my little business. And then I also just made a third Instagram. It's called at porcelain's crypt, porcelain s crypt. <sighs> Cause I want to do like my home makeover. I want to like take pictures of it and maybe do some reels of decorating and organization and stuff with my own unique, you know, alternatives, kind of spooky, but also very clean style. You know, so I made a third Instagram today. I don't, you know, I don't know how I'm going to like promote it or how I'm going to take pictures of everything yet, but I'm excited to just expand my horizon. You know, I think it's going to be fun. And even if the, like the Instagram doesn't blow up and I'm not like getting tons of followers, it's something I'm doing for me. And I feel like that's the most important thing. Cause as a person whose job is to be on social media, you know, and like my shop depends on me posting on Instagram stuff to get sales. It feels good to like do something on social media that's just for me. It doesn't matter if it does well or not, you know? <laughs> it feels good. I mean, it feels like that's what everyone else does. But as someone who, you know, does things for the internet for her job, it feels good to do things for me and for no other reason. Also, something I wanted to mention, but it's been like a week and a half and I, you know, I haven't filmed a Get Ready With Me video, so I haven't filmed it. Candyman. Can we talk about Candyman? So I'm going to take the eye foil now from Lottie London in this purpley shade. I don't really think it's going to match our eye look, but it has like orange in it, like a little bit of orangey gold in it. I'm just going to tuck it under lower lash line. The Candyman movie, the new one. I was obsessed. Okay, the cast looked fantastic. I have, I can't remember his name right now. This guy I have a huge crush on um, since I saw him in the Walking Dead spinoff originally. Super hot. And then I was obsessed with hearing that the new Candyman movie was going to be directed by Jordan Peele because we all know he makes some fantastic movies. I did not like Us. I didn't, I didn't like it. But I did love Get Out. And then I also really loved him as the Twilight narrator uh, in the new Twilight Zone. I thought it was fantastic. And he just has a great, you know, resume. He's done fantastic work. So I was excited for Candyman. Cortland and I watched all three original Candyman movies in preparation for the new movie. Like, we're going to be, like, in this. We're, like, excited. The third Candyman movie, the se even the second one wasn't good either. They're not it. The original was, like, a classic. So it has a special place in my heart. And I didn't know if this would be a remake of it or if it was going to be, you know, connected to the previous movies. 
it was connected to the previous movies. It also had a different, you know, different vibe about it and a different backstory for someone they originally thought was the candy man in the movie. I'm not trying to give spoilers or anything. I was so disappointed. I was so disappointed because when you googled the new Candyman movie, the original Candyman actor was top billed. Like he was number one. That's the first thing you see. And then in the movie, you see him for like literally seconds. Seconds. You see the original Candyman actor for seconds. Like literally I could probably count it down less than 10 seconds you see the original Candyman actor who has like who is Candyman, you know? Like, he is Candyman. And I was just so sad. I was so sad because I expected the world out of that movie. I know, I always get my hopes up for things and they can never be as good as I hoped for. And don't get me wrong, it wasn't bad. It's just I wanted more Candyman. There's something about Candyman that I think if you've seen the original ones, you know he's, he's sexy. I, I know technically like he's gross and his innards are made of bumblebees and stuff and honeycombs and he's gross and he's a killer and he's got an arm hook thing. The way he speaks, the way he moves, the way he speaks especially, he's sexy. And then I feel like we got blips of seconds of him in the new movie. I know technically because he's a fictional character and he's supposed to be dead that, you know, the, him aging in real life is something you have to deal with on camera and you know fix it so it doesn't look like he aged any even though he aged really well and I feel like it would be easy to fix his face to like look how it was back in the day but I expected more of him I, I wanted I wanted the sex that comes with the, the candy man I don't know how to describe it if you know then you get it you know and if you don't you need to rewatch the original movie because he was hot <laughs> I, can't, I don't know I mean, I know he's technically a bad guy or whatever, but you have to feel bad for him with that backstory because he wasn't a bad person. And yeah, I don't know. I just, I wanted more. I wanted more of the original guy. I love the connections they made to the original one, especially without giving spoilers. Um, I don't know how to say this. The connection of characters to the original was beautiful to me. I was something that was my favorite thing about the movie is the connections to the original characters and also one person that was in the original aged fantastically and I did not expect to see this person in the new one. They fa they they aged fantastically. It was breathtaking how gorgeous they looked. Okay, I just said that. I, I didn't want to spoil like if it was a male or female, but whatever. So yeah, I, I was disappointed that I love the connections from the old one to the new one. But I wanted more of the original guy and I, I guess I wanted more murder too because they kind of glanced away from several of them. It's a horror movie. Give me the horror. I know a lot of people be like, ew, why do you want to see that? Um, if I didn't want to see it, I wouldn't be going to a horror movie. You know, like it's rated R for a reason. Give it to me. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yes, it's terrible. People are, you know, butchered everything and people don't like gory movies and I totally get that there's some things you want to wince away from but give me something to wince away from it's part of the appeal of a horror movie I guess while I have my lash glue setting on here I'm gonna try the Ilama Squa Ilmasca eyeliner now I'm a little bit hesitant about this little felt tip but it's so black that I like I'm here for it. I'm just gonna add a baby wing it's so wet it's so wet okay, there's my little baby wing it's so wet that I'm scared I'm gonna mess it up so I would never use this eyeliner for a big wing, but for a baby one, it's very black. I'm wondering if it's gonna dry shiny or matte. So here are my little baby wings. I'm gonna put my lashes on and my lipstick and uh, put some nude in my waterline. I'll be right back and I'll show you the finished look. I feel like I rambled on for a while. The eye foil though, under here, not too purple, which is great because it didn't ruin this look, but it looks real purple in the tube. Um, but it's, it's very yellowy gold. Like when you see it from a distance, it's just gold. You don't get purple vibes of it. So here's my eye look. I'll be right back. All right, guys, this is the finished look. Using the Look Fantastic products this is my like birthday vibe look because I went for a very glamorous shimmer on the lid. And also I feel like for your birthday and stuff, you're going to always wear a neutral lip. So a lot of people wear red, but I feel like you're going to be eating stuff and drinking stuff. You might as well wear a neutral lip so that way it's easy to fix up later through the night and stuff. So 
That's my thought process on the nude lip. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let's talk about the products that I use today. The Aroma Beauty Palette, beautiful, stunning. It's just as good as the last one I tried, which is really pretty. And I like the red tones without being like in your face red, but if you want the inner face red, they have the colors here for it, which is really cute. Love the formula. The blush, not my favorite tone for me personally, but I'm glad to see that like their blushes aren't overly pigmented where it's gonna make your you know, makeup mess up sometimes. And I like the fact that it's not super matte. It has like a nice satiny finish to it. The lip conditioner smells really good. I'm gonna have to use it long term to see if I like it. The tube's very cold though. I don't know why that is. And then the Stila palette, I'm not gonna touch because it's making a mess. And um, I have to repress it, but the colors on it look really cute. So I'm interested to see how that works. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. What do you think of this finished look? I think it's cute. Oh, the eyeliner too, the Ilama Squaw Il Masca eyeliner very black I just feel like cause it's so so wet I'm scared to use it on big wings because I feel like I'll just keep making it bigger and bigger <laughs> but thank you guys so much I hope you enjoyed it sorry I rambled on for a little bit in today's video but hopefully you guys enjoyed it I enjoyed catching up with you getting some of my thoughts out about stuff that I don't have things like other people to complain about too <laughs> and I'll see you guys later have a great day